I'm currently in uh, the Jerusalem ring neighborhood of Pisgat Ze'ev and I thought that while I was up in this direction where I'm not that frequently I would make a video because I saw someone recently posting in one of the Facebook groups asking how close is the uh, Shuafat refugee camp to Jerusalem where is Shuafat exactly so that's why I came to this little bus depot on the edge of uh, Pisgat Zev which is literally as close as you can get you can see that the um, sort of ring fence of the neighborhood is right behind me there's tons and tons of security cameras and those buildings you can see right behind me there in the distance as well as uh, the fence that is those buildings are actually already in the Shuafat refugee camp. So what's interesting about the Shuafat refugee camp? Well, for one, it's the only refugee camp in Jerusalem. This is unfortunately the tragic site where Sergeant Noah Lazar, who was a border policewoman, only 18 years old, was killed recently when militants approached the entrance to the checkpoint and were able to just walk up and unfortunately uh, shoot her dead. Dr Shuafat is in an unusual position. Firstly, where is it on the map? It's, if you go onto Google Maps, it's not actually listed. If you really want to know where it is, it's not a state secret. You can turn on satellite view and the uh, impression that the security barrier makes is very distinctive. So you can see where it is. It is entirely surrounded by the Israel West Bank security barrier. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, and as I think is, is Israelis have really tried hard to get across for the majority of the course of the West Bank security barrier. It is not a big fence like you see around Bethlehem and like you see around the camp here. You can see, I'll try to take a couple more shots if it's not clear from the background, uh, that meandering concrete fence. That is the barrier. And then just in front of it, there's a little fence. I'm not sure which one is actually the border, but that's literally where you can see how close from where I'm standing and the, at, at the edge of Piskat Zev to the refugee camp. There's a wadi in the middle. It's probably about, I would say, 200 meters maximum, more like 100. Now, you can't go in and enter uh, Shuafat uh, refugee camp. It's illegal for Israeli civilians to do so. To the best of my knowledge, that's because it's classified as Area A. Now, this is where it becomes interesting slash problematic. There are some neighborhoods of Jerusalem that are within the boundary of the Jerusalem municipality including uh, Shuafat refugee camp, um, as well as Kafar Akab, which is just the town before Ramallah after the Kalandia checkpoint. These are classed as being within the Jer Jer Jerusalem municipality boundary. They are supposed to be as much Jerusalem as Ben Yehuda Street, but practically speaking, the municipality can't go in there. It doesn't go in there if it attempts to provide waste collection services, etc., to the residents. It's frequently met with a hostile and sometimes even an armed response. You can see those buildings, they're big buildings. Some of them are like 10 stories high. There's a checkpoint at the entrance, so many will pass through that checkpoint every single day to come and work in Jerusalem. But it is a Palestinian refugee camp in Jerusalem, right to the south of Pisgat Zev, to the east of the actual uh, Arab neighborhood of uh, Shuafat. And I think that's about as much I can say about it uh, while attempting to stay somewhat uh, politically neutral.